Hello, hello guys, and welcome back to World of Warcraft. Classic TPC. Yes. It's uh it's a pretty late, late one here. <laughs> As we can see, the moon is up. No sunshine. Just good old night nice strolling. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, we are uh, in Arati Highland still. Not for long. Not for long, I think. Um, I plan to deliver a couple of quests here. And then I think we are planning to move on to uh, Stranglethorn Vale. I wonder how that is at night. Probably a little bit scary. <laughs> Probably a bit scary. As we can see, we got a couple of quests to turn in. And the first one right here. Drum fell. Let's see what he got to say. Sub, sub. You are as strong as a Kodo, and your mm. lust for battle does your people proud. I don't know about that. Call to arms. Ooh, which one was that? Was that the one where we had to kill the ogres? I think so. I think so. The head of the beast is ready to be taken off. With great force, Relum. You have shown every sign that you are able to help us with this final mighty blow. The leaders of these attacks have made their lair within the ruins of Stromgard, a glaring symbol of human frailty. Find and slay those Bloodfist Lords and their lackey shaman who would try and drive us from these lands. Okay, a level 40 quest. That sounds uh, good enough for me uh, to take it. I'm not sure we're going to stick around to do it right now, but we'll pick it up. Where is that, actually? Oh, it's way over here. Huh. All right. Cool. Oh, did I forget to? No, no, he's content. Yeah, I, I sometimes just sit online and, uh, you know, kind of plan out things or look at settings or, you know, doing something or being AFK. And I just forget that he's here and, you know, and he's getting unhappy. It's really bad. See his beast training. 11, yeah, he's <laughs> a bit away from getting his, uh, his resistance. <laughs> but yeah, he will get there, I think, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, Sengu. Let's talk to him. Relax. Have you located the first sigil yet? It is most likely carried on the person of one of the syndicate agents in Stromgard. Yeah, we got it. We got it for you. Excellent. Monday. That's a good start <laughs> to collecting the sigils we'll need to remove Troll Caller from Troll Bane's tomb. He just called me Monday. Yep. Thorus Troll Bane's tomb is protected by three sigils, the first of which you retrieved from the syndicate. The other two will be harder to get, as they're held by the firmly entrenched Stromgard militia. Mm -hmm. The sigil of Thorin was divided into five pieces by Thorin's son, Galen, and dispersed among the Stromgrid defenders. Retrieve the pieces and bring them to Tawargan, the troll shaman. He will be able to bind them into the complete sigil. Cool, so another quest that is leading to that area. I don't mind that at all. That is pretty good. Spirits. See, yeah. The broken sigil. Both of them level 40 quest. Okay. All right. Uh, we got one more quest down here. Somewhere. Where is that actually? Oh, it's over there. Let's just jump down. Put on the booster. I don't know what... Okay, he came down with us. Okay. Back up to a gun. Relax. Oh, we got Thanks two quests. To the walkie. Cool. My preparations are made. All I require are the raptor hearts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got it for you. Yes, these will work perfectly. I will transfer their power and the spirit of the raptors into this orb. This orb will imbue Gormiel with the fiery strength and intelligence of oh. the raptor. Yeah, I almost forgot about that dude. He's standing over here somewhere and he kind of lost his, you know, spirit or something to just even survive. Definitely need to battle. Take this orb and use its energy to give Gormiel the essence of the raptor. Okay. Surely this will invigorate his spirit and give him new purpose in life. <laughs> With him returned to normal, we can explain to him the current state of the Horde, and we will have a great warrior's assistance in our unceasing battles. I mean, he said no. He, he literally said no the first time, and now we're going back and, like, kind of poking the bear. Uh, well, I guess we will do it, but first... The burning in my blood. It grows by the day. The warlock must be stopped. Foul the bloodstone orb. Was that... Uh, I don't... Foul magics. I don't recall where this was. My restless nights will turn to peaceful slumber when I have destroyed this orb. Thank you, Relum. 
It is a chilling reminder of the terrible power the demons held over the orcs before Hillscream released them from their curse. What demons are we speaking of? I don't recall this quest. But we got a pretty good upgrade here. That's a lot more intellect. Because we don't have an intellect on the other one. But yeah, intellect is not that bad for a hunter because of the just amount of more, you know, damage you can do with it. Uh, in terms of uh, spending mana. We're almost 2k now in mana. Oh, well, actually, when we put this on, we are probably over 2k. I want to see... Wh how does that look? Okay, that's just as ugly as the last one. Never mind. Yeah, over 2k mana. That's pretty good. So, I guess we had a crest uh, for this dude down here that have lost his spirit to... I don't know. Do anything for the horde, basically. He also looks a little bit old. He's an old orc, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's a pretty old orc. Anyway, let's see. Return the gang, have you? Indeed, there is nothing more I could wish for now than more of Tavorgan's pity. <laughs> what have you for me this time? Perhaps a piece of brightly colored string? Or a length of rope to end this misery of Oh mine? my god, that is... Okay. At least that is something interesting you bring to me this time. A strange power it emits? Yep. This. This power. Is this the power of the shamans that Torgan tried to show me? I must say, it is interesting. Tell Torgan that he has convinced me. For the time being, I will listen to what he has to say. Okay. This. Oh, this okay. power. Is this the power of <laughs> the shamans enough. that Torgan tried to show me? It just, uh, you know, the quest kind of stopped. We couldn't take the quest, so it was just speaking out loud. I was a little bit, you know, confused there for a minute, but nah, it's all good. All right. What you want? Thanks. When the enchantment wears off, I will speak with Gormule. My thanks to you for your help in returning Gormule to the land of the living. I have no doubt he thanks you greatly as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Call of the Raptor. Later. So is that a one-time use? Uh, three charges. Okay, three charges. Cool. That's pretty nice. Anything else we need to do here? Oh, there is a new quest up here. What is that? The real threat. It's a level 40 quest. I'm gonna pick it up. Let's get up there. There must be a new one. I didn't see it before. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it is. Corin Fell. The real threat. Glory to the Horde. You serve my husband well, Hunter, but he does not know why Hammerfall is under attack. Orkaller, Mugthal's pawn in Starongrid, has oh. an intense hatred for my husband, and wishes nothing more than my husband's death for defeating him years ago. My auguries tell me that Orkaller has laid a trap for my husband, so I have hidden signs of the ogre's presence from him. My husband will rush off foolishly if he learns of the ogre's whereabouts and I would ask for your help in slaying the creature. Sure... I think we might be able to do that. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty decent. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll take that. So the question is, do we want to, you know, stick around in this episode and be here in Arachi Highlands and just do these three quests over here? Yeah, there is kind of a sentiment uh, to doing that instead of going back to Stranglethorn Vale because that's quite a far away from here. I, I feel like we should just run over and do this quest in Stormguard instead. Seems like the obvious choice here. I mean, yeah, we are not level 40, but I think we can do it anyway. I feel like that is exactly what we're gonna do. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna run over there, guys. So, uh, see you in just, uh, well, for you guys, it's gonna be one second. Ooh, look at that. I was almost, lo I was almost running into them again. <laughs> just almost. Right there they are. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they are part of a quest or something uh, later on. Could be, or maybe they're just patrols. I'm not actually sure about that. But yeah, we are uh, turning into uh, Stormguard again. I don't remember... In this place, was this like a human fortress or something like that? Back in Warcraft 3? You know, the storyline further back? I don't really know, but it's a pretty interesting place. It's a rather big place, right? This could be an entire city. This could be like under city. This could be like... You know, Thunder Bluff. This could be, you know, a big city. Uh, are we? What direction are we going in here? Uh, I think we need to kill these troll hunters. Okay. If I go up here, no. How do you get in there? Actually, maybe over here. 
We need the sigils from these defenders anyway. And what about down here? We need to go down there as well. I think I'm gonna go deeper in, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Kill that molder. That's a knight of rogue right there. I was not expecting to see anyone in here 11.33 in the afternoon. <laughs> not even, uh, that, that, that's pretty much a night. <laughs> Uh, let's see what he's up to. We're gonna go in this direction. Um, yeah, there are these okras we have to kill down here, and I believe also Okala. So uh, let's just uh, kill our way there. Let's see if we can manage to not die. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, you never know. You never know. It could get ugly. Sometimes it's getting really ugly, sometimes it's, you know, just me talking about random topics and having a blast. <laughs> oh, man. Right, um... Yeah, sure, get that molar. wait for this molar to come here. I don't really want to pull too many. I don't actually want to pull too many. I don't want to pull more than once uh, or one guy here in this area. I think I can... Okay, that's the shame, man. We do need those. So we are on the right track. We can squeeze through here. Or not. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's definitely worth having the intellect. And the spirit, because spirit is also giving us a bit of uh, MP5. Mana per second. So we will get mana back, so we can just continue, you know, killing stuff. Uh, and that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty good way to go, I think. Of course, if you can get agility, you go for agility. But otherwise, inter intense, uh, intellect and spirit is not bad. Probably intellect is better than spirit, but still, it's it's not bad to take them. I feel like at least it, it's not a, you know, bad way to go. You get quite a lot out of intellect here in classic TPC as a hunter, especially in terms of leveling. Maybe not as much if you're talking about dungeons and raids and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm like, are they ranged? I, I don't know if these guys are ranged or what they are. Who's that? That is a Boulder Fist Lord. We also need to kill those. Let's see if he's... Uh, actually, well, I'll let him go in. So Okay, they are ranged. Uh, it's all good. Okay, that's pretty annoying. Okay, it's not it's it's not the the biggest healing in the world, but still a little bit annoying. There we go. Two. Have we killed one before this? Wow, I'm on I'm on automatic mode here. <laughs> I didn't even notice we have killed two already. Shoot him in the back. Big ugly ogre. Boulder fist lord. Now the question is, did I remember to buy arrows? Oh yeah, I did that in the last episode. Oh well, not really. I uh, Between episodes, that is. That's good. That's pretty good. Oof. I wonder where the, the guy we need to kill is. Probably... Hmm. He's down there somewhere. Let's wait for this molar. 
Well, I guess we can take him now. Go get him. Alrighty. I'm like, I'm trying to get to the guy we have to kill first. And after that, we can start killing more of these. But right now, I just want to clear a path to... What was his name? Cal... Ocalas? Or Ocala? I'm not even sure where he is. Uh, don't... Don't even. That's a, that's a really good ratio, I feel like. I, I think the... The Blood Elf ratio is pretty good. I'm just gonna take this guy because I know I'm gonna pull him otherwise. I just want a little bit more room, space here. And I'm also, like, still a little bit confused about where this guy is. But I think he might be over here, actually. There he is. Okay. We don't really need to go up there. But we might need to clear them out. Just to have the space. Just to feel secure, maybe. Or we could take that Lord instead. You know what I'm gonna take? Nah. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, we got... We, we're gonna get three. Yeah, we're gonna get three of them. We're gonna get four of them. I'm gonna run. I don't like this. That was stupid. I was just shooting through all the walls here. That's pretty stupid. Don't like that. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Four, four ogres at 39. That's too much, I think. That would, been a bit, that, that would have been pretty bad. Is it possible? Sure, it, it would be. But I'll rather take the... Uh, I'll, take a, I'll rather take my uh, chances of running and... Yeah. In the end, we actually got away with uh, pulling one of these. And I'm gonna take this guy out as well in here. Just to have a bit more space. Because I don't think we have to worry about respawns just yet. Um, because I think these two up here, uh, Okala and the other Shaman, they're probably linked. So we are definitely killing two at a time there. Alright. We killed that one. I think we can just move up there, actually. Nope, okay. Should just have taken them out to begin with. This is gonna be... Okay, okay, good. He's actually on Scorpy. That's really good. That's gonna be helpful. Otherwise, I would have need, needed my faint death, and I don't think it's ready yet. I'm not tracking my uh, abilities, which is a little bit, you know, if... if I would have used <coughs> an add-on to do that, but... Uh, I'd rather have my, my, my screen a little bit more clear from s things like that. When we're playing... Uh, a little bit more immersive. I should probably heal him. <laughs> okay. We had to kill a lot more ogres than I thought we had we needed to get down here, but that's okay. It's just a bit more XP. All right. Um, let's heal him a little bit, and I think we are gonna go on the shaman first kill him off because he's gonna heal anyway go get him I'm probably gonna trap the other dude if I can just to help us out just a tiny bit here didn't have it ready I think we're fine I forgot about mana actually but we're good it's all good. Seems like he's just a normal ogre, just with a bit more health or something like that. 
1200, yeah, 1700, 180, yeah, just a bit more health, basically. Doesn't seem like he's doing any damage, really. There we go. Good night. I'll take your head. <laughs> right, what do we need to kill uh, to finish this off? We need some shamans, we need some... Nope, we are done with the lords, we just need shamans. Uh, wait, hold on. Pull him back a bit. Okay, never mind. If we get the Lord, we get the Lord. Oh, we got a patrol here. Okay. I don't know far, how far or where he's gonna go. We got respawns now, so we got to be a little bit wary of that situation. I'm actually going in here. Was off. Yeah, there we go. The Moller was going that direction. Probably need a bit of mana after this. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, I didn't meant to do that. What is the... Uh, what is this one on? I don't know. Let's use it. Is this shift... Shift Q? Yeah, shift Q. Okay. I had forgotten it. I hadn't used it for a very long time. Anyway, let's get a bit of a drink here. Let a little bit to drink. Before we pull the next one. Just to, you know, just for safety reasons, you know. It's, it's just it's just nice to have a bit of mana. If we need to do a couple of different things. If we pull more than one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I think that's good enough. Got a molder down there. Okay. How many more do we need? Oh, just one more. Okay. Then we can probably get out. Uh, I don't know if we should fight our way out or we should just run. I think, I think I'm think i actually fighting my way out because running here could get... If we get dazed... If we get dazed, we're dead. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, we do have a faint death, but still might as well just fight our way out here. We need to stick to this area anyway. Just a bit further north to get those sigils. Yeah. And what else? Oh, there is no nothing else. We got those three quests and that's it. Which is nice. I mean, that's... That's also decent enough for me. Uh, yeah, I guess we need to go take out this shaman. Go get him. Ah, it was too slow. Oh, he re I resisted it. <laughs> works works as well. <laughs> Way too slow, actually. I was trying to, you know, go behind this corner. I don't even think that works. It needs to be something like brick wall. Something like that. Uh, I guess this molar here. Weaving our way through these old abandoned houses. But yeah, I, I would think that this castle or stronghold keep that's the word keep would have been a significant part of history for humans at some stage right uh, that's i mean i think so there's probably some history about it you could probably find it in a book somewhere hidden in a i don't know in an inn or something oh hello don't mind if i do oh oh you peace But often, a lot of the lore... <coughs> wow, sorry. <laughs> what happened there with my voice? But a lot of the lore in World of Warcraft is hidden in, you know, small texts somewhere on the ground or in an inn or, you know, where you can read through some texts. And I tend not to go look for it, if you know what I mean. Hello, Hellslayer Battleaxe. I don't know if that's good. Fighting Undead. I doubt... Well, the auction house is saying 48 gold. So I'm going to try and sell it on auction house, that's for sure. Not a bad one to get, huh? Not a bad one to get. I don't mind it. Even if I can only sell it for 20 gold, that's still... That's still a lot, man. Oh, okay. Patrol. 
Yeah, like, if we can get 20 gold from that or, you know, something, I'd still... Very nice. Still very, very nice indeed. Did I have Aspect on? Or Aspect of the Cheater on? I think so. Since I got dazed. Or maybe he got he dazed me because he was hitting me from behind. Not entirely sure about that. Alright. Yeah, let's get out of here. Kill this Berserker. There we go. Now you can put it on. Oh, I guess not. Miss the serpents thing, at least the first one. <laughs> oh man, bit of a late night episode here. Kind of like it. I mean, I've done it plenty of times in this series before, and it's just uh, I normally do most of the recording, uh, you know, during the day, and then I tend to do a lot of the editing during, you know, the night. I just felt like playing a little bit more today when I came home. Um, let's pull her out here. Him or her, I'm not sure actually. Her. Alright. I wonder how long it's gonna take to get these sigil fragments. What the drop rate is. Well, it's not 100%. Who is that? That's a troll hunter. Okay. That reminds me of a movie from Norway called Troll Hunter. It's probably now, it's probably 10 years old or something like that. Uh, and, but they, um, congrats, Scorpi. But they, they made it like a documentary. Like, it looked like a documentary, if you know what I mean? Where a film crew went out into the wilderness of Norway, into the mountainsides, and found trolls. You know, really fucking big trolls. <laughs> Not trolls like they are here in World of Warcraft. No, no, no. Like, 200 meter tall trolls. <laughs> Just roaming around in the, Nor in, in the Norwegian uh, fjells. <laughs> that was great. I loved that. That was a great movie. They even had uh, the former, um, I think he's actually the NATO, what is his name? Skiltenberg? Nah, no. I think he's the NATO, top NATO guy right now. They had him in the movie as well to say, just really shortly at the end of the movie, to spoil it for you guys, uh, that he said that. Uh, on Norwegian, he said "troll of Finnish" or something like that. I, I don't speak Norwegian, but it means uh, that the troll exists. <laughs> you know, the Norwegian uh, prime minister saying that <laughs> in a movie. Uh, that was great. That was pretty damn good. Uh, I'm actually not sure if that was a deep fake or they actually got him to do that. What? Do we all what? We have seven of these sigil fragments. What? I am a little bit confused about how we got them this fast. Did we just loot that? We got three there and four there. Okay, well, we're done. <laughs> that went... Okay, so they could drop more than one. So the drop chance is not 100%, but they can drop... Well, four of them at a time. Or even more, maybe. Don't know how that works, but alright, we'll get back to Hammerfall, I guess. But yeah, to sum up the, that whole um, uh, Troll Hunter movie. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it was, uh, at the time, one of my favorite movies, just because it was so ridiculous. But it was it, it was also cool, because it's like, the, it, it's, a, it's a fantasy that 
they they made they made it like look they made it look like that if you don't know anything about Norway and and you and you and you watched it from a very n um, na naive mindset maybe you know as a child uh, 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 you, you, they made it look like it was real you know what I mean it's like what the fuck is going on here is this a real document documentary that just got out and what is going on is there trolls in Norway <laughs> it was great <laughs> lovely movie. Very B, a, a B movie. Of course, it was a B movie. I would definitely call it a B movie, but uh, I don't. I don't know. I just liked it. I, uh, you know, it's just a, a funny thing. Anyway, let's get back to Hammerfall. Ah, I remembered his name now, Jens Stoltenberg. So yeah, that that was the prime minister of Norway when that movie was made, and they actually, you know, like I said, got him on. Got him to do the part of saying that trolls exist. Like 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 he was going on television in Norway and saying trolls exist. <laughs> that was just fantastic. But yeah, he's uh, he's the uh, secretary to uh, or the is it what is it called uh, general secretary of NATO, right? Yeah, it's that guy. That was that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. I loved it. It was just fantastic. It was so funny. Ah oh, man, you know what? I think, unless there are some follow-ups here, could be, could be follow-ups, but unless we got follow-ups, I think we are gonna go to Stranglethorn. But um, I think we'll see in just a moment here, a moment's time here. Oh, this this boulder, this boulder right here, also reminds me of that movie because the bigger trolls would just pick up these boulders and and throw them at people and throw well actually throw them at the. Uh, you know, the documentary team. <laughs> I mean, I can I need to, I need to see that movie again. Oh, it was just awesome. And talk about trolls. Here we got Torgan. Tromka, Hunter, Zengu informed me that you required my assistance. Yep. Ah, you need me to reconstruct this sigil? It shouldn't be too difficult. All the pieces seem to be here and the magical structure will be easy to reform. You might want to close your eyes. Oh uh, nope, I'm not gonna close my eyes. The reconstruction worked flawlessly. The sigil can now be used to unlock the seal on Trollbane's tomb. Who you be? The reconstruction worked flawlessly. The sigil can now be used to unlock the seal on Trollbane's tomb. Return it to Zenu. No doubt he has additional tasks for you to complete. Okay. Later. Cool. Well, that's the first one, but I have a feeling we got a follow-up. Let's check it out. Uh, let's actually talk to Sengu first, then. Greetings, man. Relum, do you have the second sigil? Yes, we do. We're halfway to being able to remove Troll Caller from Troll Bane's tomb. We are not exactly sure where the third sigil is, as its holders seem to move around that eddy quite a bit, but I have faith that you'll be able to find it. Oh, okay. Though they can barely be said to control Stromgrid, let alone the whole of Aradi Highlands, the human prince draws the remnants of his cavalry over the countryside. I can't understand why he does it, but who understands the way the humans think, hmm. Whatever his reasoning, more importantly, he has given one of the sigils to Lieutenant Val Oracle, their cavalry leader. Ah. Locate him and bring his sigil back to me. That's the guy we got attacked by. Then We, uh, we just saw him outside of... Um... What is it called? Uh, yeah, the <laughs> the keep over there. So he's the one patrolling outside of there. So uh, okay, so we do have that to do. Bit of a hard quest, isn't it? Because he's like he he was forty or forty one, and then he had two other guys with him. Hmm. Might be a bit tough to do that what one. Do you, need? you do your people proud, Relum. The threat has been greatly lessened, and I am sure we will begin to thrive here in the Highlands. Okay, so we got the Skulls Placer here. I think that's pretty decent with 15 strength on it, but, you know, it's yeah, it's, it's definitely better than the other one, just because of it. Oh, it's a two-handed. Hmm. See, I don't know about that. Oh, nope, this dagger. 7 agility, 23 damage. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one we're gonna pick up. Let's put it on instead of this one. There we go. 
So we're back to using a dagger. Nice. But the agility is, of course, pretty big. That is, of course, pretty damn good. All right. Oh, we had one more quest to turn in. Okay, cool. Greetings. Near the Tower of Erythor, that is where you will find Orkalor. His death will stop the attacks on Hammerfall and protect my husband's life. I see in your eyes that you think me weak, even dishonorable for my silence. Someday you will learn what it is to love as I do. Perhaps then you will understand a different kind of strength and honor. In the meantime, do as I ask, and slay Orkalor. We did. You have done me a great service, Realm. Know mm -hmm. that my husband's life and the safety of Hammerfall has been protected for another day because of your deeds. Please take this as a reward for your courage. Well... What do we get here then? Four strength, five stamina. So, is that supposed to be better than our other axe? I think so, yeah. It's, it's actually better than the uh, bone axe. 3% better. Also a bit more damage. So I think we're gonna pick that up as well. But here's the thing, it's not a... Uh, we probably want the dagger in the main hand just because... No, wait, how is it? You want... You want to have a slow weapon as a main hand and a fast weapon as the offhand, isn't it? Or is it the other way around? I don't remember, but I guess... I guess we can figure that out somehow. But yeah, that's also, that's two new weapons right away. Yeah, it's definitely better, so let's pick it up. Um, oh, it's actually saying it's better than the other one. 18 point, how, how is that possible? Better than which one? Really? And which, which one is this better than? That makes no sense. That makes no sense to me. This got 4 strength, 4 Aggie. This got 4 strength, 5 stamina. I'm gonna take the Aggie. I think the, the agility is just better. So we're actually gonna keep a hold on that. And not use the sword. But then again, the 23 damage per second. But how often are we actually using our, you know, melee weapons? Not very often. Not very often. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So what quest did we get? We got that quest that is running here. The guy that is... Going up and down. So we got two patrol patrol quests or whatever we want to call them. But we need to find guys. I don't think we're going to do them now. Um, and I also think I'm going to keep this episode nice and, you know, <laughs> below 40 minutes, I guess. Or, well, close to at least. Yeah, I think it's below 40 minutes. Yeah, I think we're going to relocate to Stranglethorn Vale for the next episode. I don't see a whole lot here to do and... I think we're gonna wait with these two. They are a bit tougher quest. They both got a couple of guys with them, so but we'll probably be back here at some stage uh, in the near future because we need to go into hinterlands anyway at some stage. Is that from? Uh, wait, hold on. Is that from here? We're going in. There? No, that's from. That's actually from Hillspread, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's that's also a little bit further down the road. We don't have any quest up there yet, so. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, well, our little midnight stroll here. It, it, it looks like the moon is going down at 12. Hmm, that's interesting. So, uh, midnight, uh, the moon is going down, I guess. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I hope you liked it, and I will see you around next time. <laughs>